day everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's cozy at home vlog um i was doing a few of these at the start of quarantine and then quite frankly i got bored um, <laughs> because there's not an awful lot going on at the moment um but i wanted to pick up the camera today and just have a little chat and say hi and see how you are i feel like these videos are just a lot more like casual um and chilled out and i do really enjoy that actually i love just having like a proper conversation with you guys and having like a proper chat so let me know in the comments how you are how you're doing i've had a couple of down days recently just not been feeling great which i think is really understandable um a lot of us are going through this it's just such a roller coaster there are some days where i'm like this is lovely the sun's shiny i'm doing work and you know i'm safe and i'm getting on and then there's other days where i can't get off the sofa so today is the former I've got my coffee and we are getting crap done today. Um, I think I'm going to film another video today if I'm feeling good. Um, I'm going to shoot some content and that's the plan of action for today. So I thought I would show you actually. I've got a few new um, deliveries that have arrived, a few PR things. Um, also a couple of new home updates um, to show you. Oh, that was a little bit. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just bring you along with me today finish my coffee and let's get on with the day. So speaking of coffee, actually, um, I am very, very impressed with Nespresso. <laughs> Alex is there, by the way, doing some work. Um, I'm very, very impressed with Nespresso. We did a Nespresso order literally yesterday um, and just got it on standard delivery. It said it could take up to 10 days to arrive. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. We've still got a few capsules left. So we've got enough to last us. It's arrived today. So I thought I'd show you what capsules I picked up um, because it was if you buy 100 capsules, you get free delivery. So I was like, well, may as well, you know, like we're going to use them eventually. They're not the kind of thing that goes off. So I may as well just um, keep a bit of a stockpile in the cupboard. Um, although there were quite a few that ha were out of stock. Um, a couple of my favorites. I love the Ni I can never say Nicaragua ones. You know the country. Um, there's ones called Nicaragua, and I really, really like the taste of them. Um, but they were temporarily unavailable, which is a bit of a shame. So I just got a few new ones that I thought I could try. Um, and Alex has got a few as well. So Alex's favourite ones are the cosy. They're the brown ones um, that you get. And they are really, really nice. They're very kind of just like a simple coffee. Like they're not really that flavoured. They're not that intense. They're just quite a nice coffee. So these are also perfect when we have guests. Um, and they ask for a cup of coffee and they don't really know what they like. Um, so we've got three boxes of those just so that we have quite a few in there. I mean, I know we're not going to have guests coming around any time soon, but these are just to last us um, for a while. And then Alex wants to try something new. So we picked up these ones, which are, if you're going to focus, um, Roma, I think they're called. It's, I can't even say that first word. Isperazione, Isperazione Roma. Basically, they're a very, very intense one. So Alex likes his dark coffee. He has it without milk because he's a freaking weirdo. Um, but these are like a very, very intense dark coffee. I think they're out of 10. I think they're an eight. Um, and for context, Cozy is a four. So they're gonna be very, very intense. Um, but we'll see how they taste. He really, really likes his dark coffee. So if you like yours, they might be a good one to pick up. And then these ones are my ones here. So. I wanted to try, this is a new one called Chiaro, um, and on the website it said it was a really good one for creamy and like milky coffees, um, which is exactly how I like to have my coffee, um, and I always tend to go for like the lighter ones. I'm not sure what number this is on the scale, does it say? I don't think it says on the box anywhere. Um, but yeah, we'll give those a try, see what they're like. I'm very, very excited. And then I picked up a couple of, these are the Velutos. They're kind of the same as Cozy. They're quite similar. They're just like a basic coffee. Um, and I really love these for my iced coffee. And then it just means I just add some syrup in and it tastes absolutely amazing. So I really like those. Got a couple of boxes of those. And we also picked up a couple of boxes of the vanilla. Um, so the normal vanilla was sold out. So I picked up vanilla eclair don't know how different it's going to be um i expect it will probably taste quite similar but i really like my sweet coffee um so even if i have the vanilla coffee i'll usually add like a tiny drop of syrup to it um but yes that will arrive that was on free delivery which was absolutely fab and literally took a day to get here so i'm very impressed with espresso at the moment I also would just like to apologize in advance i probably should have warned you this at the start of the video but we have builders back on our balcony at the moment um so if you don't know let me help you with the coffee so if you don't know we um 
had in February some guys come around and basically say we are replacing your balcony and I was like throw up um so there's been some like leaking problems um in the building and the flats below us have had like water damage and stuff which they've said is caused by the balconies so they needed to come around and basically remove the entire balcony and replace it so we're like okay cool um so they started work on that early February and then come March um well I say they started work they only kind of got to our actual balcony in in early March um so we just didn't have access to it for the whole of February no one was there um, but they started working on it in March, worked on it for literally like two days, and then lockdown happened. So obviously no one came back. Um, and we had a couple of people randomly on the on the scaffolding on the balcony the other day. So I kind of just popped my head out the window and just said, like, hey, can you please give us an update? What's going on? And it turns out the guy that was there was actually the like owner of all of this stuff. Like I think he's the building manager or something I don't really know but he was explaining to me that they are actually having people come back to work on it now um so they should have if like everything had gone to plan and lockdown hadn't happened we would have had our balcony back for late April um but now he can't tell me when we're gonna have it back but yesterday we had like two people working on it today there's been about five people outside um so um yeah they're now working on the balcony again which means there is a lot of clanging and banging going on I'm very very glad that um I didn't have to film any like sit down videos today because otherwise I would have been fuming because of the amount of noise that is happening. Um, but they seem they seem to be getting on with it. We're not really sure what's going on. We don't really have anything to do with it. Even our landlord barely knows any information. Um, it's kind of more to do with like the actual building manager themselves. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> it, like it's difficult because obviously we want the balcony done. But number one we're kind of like how are you guys allowed to do this because you're all you know in close proximity and number two when you're working from home all day every day there's a lot of banging going on it is testing off your patience um but yeah just to warn you if you can hear noise in the background i'm very very sorry i thought i would show you a new home update that i got which is actually i'm calling it the bargain of the century because i'm in love with it now i'm gonna put you down so i can give you a bit of context basically i've been looking for rattar furniture for so so long so i have kind of like i'm really sorry if you can type in the background as well alex is obviously working um but i have been really wanting to put some rattan furniture in our flat recently i think i've really kind of like found our flat style um and i really love the kind of like californian la vibes just like really chilled out lots of wood lots of white maybe a few pops of like darker colors in there um and that's kind of the vibe that I've now gone for in our flat. So I've been looking for rattan furniture. And if you know rattan furniture, you'll know it is very, very expensive. Like the kind of units I was looking at were, there was nothing I could find below about 300 pounds, um, which is kind of understandable because obviously it's all handmade. It's all for like very good quality. Um, and it's like not a cheap material to use. So I completely get that. But obviously I don't really want to be spending that much money on furniture right now. Um, it's just not a necessity. So anyway, I've been scrolling through Facebook Marketplace daily to try and look for like pieces of furniture and stuff like that. I love Facebook Marketplace for furniture. Um, I think it's a really great way to pick up furniture for quite cheap. Um, and I sell a lot of stuff on there as well. Um, so anyway, I literally found this unit. I think she'd uploaded it. And 30 minutes later, I sent her a message like, hi, is this available? And she's like, yeah, yeah, it's still available. I was like, hi, can I come pick it up tomorrow? Um, so, uh, and we like, obviously were very, very careful when um, I went to pick it up. She left it outside in the driveway and I sent her a bank transfer. So there's no like cash involved or anything like that. But I'm gonna show you this unit because you will not believe that I got this unit for 25 pounds. I am so, so in love with how this looks. So I've decided to put it up in this corner here, which I think looks really, really cute with the lamp and next to our little um, shelving unit and everything. And I'm just obsessed. The fact that I got this for 25 quid, honestly, is just a godsend. Now I will say though, I think part of the reason why it's so cheap, I think they painted it themselves. Like if you open the doors, you can see where they've kind of like gone over with the paint um like especially on this side so i think that's part of the reason why it was so cheap i don't know if they made it themselves i don't know if they i don't i don't know um but like so if you do come up close you can kind of see the paint but from far away you can't see it at all um and i think it still looks really really good i absolutely love the white and the kind of like really natural color of the rattan i think it looks absolutely gorgeous and i'm so so happy 
with how it looks. Like 25 quid for that, I'm so chuffed. So I moved the um, bar cart over to the kind of like sofa side and now this is like quite a nice little corner. I do want to get a rug for down here. I think that would kind of just complete the space um, because obviously like when we do have the patio back then we can just kind of like rug, patio, like all, all look nice. Um, but one thing that's really annoying me, <laughs> The gold of the lamp does not match the gold of this picture. So this is um, another print I got from the poster store. If you guys saw my dressing room makeover, you would have seen all the other prints that I got. Um, and I really, really like how this one looks. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The um, kind of like abstract work of it, I think it's just stunning. Like it looks a lot more expensive than it is, but it is kind of driving me nuts that the two golds, like this is a very yellowy gold and this is like more of like a brassy gold. They are very different, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to get a different frame. I might get a black frame to kind of tie it into the um, the shelving unit. I'm not sure, but this is just how I've started it for now. This is quite rough. It will probably change. Um, I have done H&M home order. I think you probably will see that video before you see this one. Um, so I've got a few things that are going to be arriving to like decorate this a bit. Um, but one thing I am trying to do in the space is just kind of tie in all the colours a little bit. And you might notice that one of the colours I'm really loving is blue. Obviously, we've got the the blue of the fridge. I've got like the blue over there, I've got a new rug coming which has blue in it as well and I'm just kind of trying to tie in the colours a little bit more. So I really really like the blue so I've added a, like a little blue book and stuff and I think it looks really really cute but I'm very happy with this unit, I think it's such a gorgeous addition into our flat. Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. This is the first time that I'm vlogging in my new dressing room, it's very exciting. You guys would have seen the video go up on Sunday, hopefully you caught that. Um, I absolutely love it in here. Um, it's already a bit of a mess to be perfectly honest. I'm, especially with that bed, I'm very bad at keeping that clear. It just kind of becomes a bit of a dumping ground and anything that I like use or anything that I'm, I don't know, doesn't have a home. It kind of just ends up in there. Like my hats normally go in my cupboard, but I was wearing them the other day for photos. So like now they're sitting there and then that's my Zara haul that you guys would have seen last week. Um, I need to put the clothes away. So yeah, but I wanted to show you, I've had a few things arrive that I wanted to go through, I'm very, very excited about. So I'm sure you guys probably would have seen this collection came out a little while ago now, um, and everyone was talking about it, and it's the NARS Afterglow collection, and they have been so, so kind and sent me a few things from the collection, I'm so excited to have a go through these. Um, so the first things are the lip balms, um, what are their official names? After, oh, it's just Afterglow Lip Balm. Um, and I think you guys know I absolutely love these. Now, I had the shade Orgasm. I lost it, and I'm absolutely gutted. Sometime in February, I don't know how I lost it. I remember the last time I had it was in my coat because I was bringing it out and, like, using it. And then when I got home, it was gone, so I think it must have fallen out of my coat pocket, which is absolutely devastating. Um, but I do also have it... Just here. Oh, no, it's not there. Um, I do also have it in clear somewhere. <laughs> It's probably around the flat somewhere because um, they are such good lip balms. I really, really love them. Um, but they've sent me two new shades to try, which first shade is called Turbo, and it's this stunning red shade, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you what that looks like. Come on, you gonna focus? There we go. Is that focusing? I'm very sorry if it's not. So this is the shade Turbo, which is just such a stunning red colour. I I almost don't want to use this because it's like you know when it's brand new. Um, I'm not going to try that one just yet, just because I don't think red lip is going to go with this kind of look today. I've got a very neutral uh, face on today. Um, this shade is Dolce Vita, and I think I've had a lot of people talk about this. I'm pretty sure this is a lot of people's favourite in, like, the lipsticks. Um, so, in fact, this is a lip balm. I'm going to put it on, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is, like, a stunning kind of, like little bit deeper than your natural lip colour. I mean, depending on your skin tone, obviously, I'm very, very pale. So this is a little bit deeper than, like, my natural lip colour, but I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. It's not too dark, so, like, I think it still works with this makeup look. Also, you can see my freckles are really starting to come out. I've barely been out in the sun. Um, we've literally gone for, a, not even every day, we've gone for maybe, like, every other day a walk or a run. Um, and already <laughs> the freckles are coming out, but those are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, and then we've also got two lip glosses. Um, oh, sorry. These are loaded lip lacquers. So we have two shades here. We've got Foxy and Young Hearts. Let's open this up. Oh, that's stunning. So this is Foxy here. That's right, yeah. That's Foxy. Oh, that is gorgeous. Can you see that? 
Oh, it's so annoying that it won't focus. I'm so sorry. There we go. It's That is like a stunning. That's quite similar actually to Dolce Vita. Come on. There's my face. Um, quite similar to Dolce Vita in the sense that it's like a little bit more of like a brownie nude. Um, and then we've got Young Hearts here. What kind of a colour is this? Oh, that's gorgeous as well. That's a much lighter nude. That's probably more like a Your Lips But Better shade. Um, because I am very, very pale. My lips are quite like light coloured. Um, so I'd say that's probably going to be more like my kind of nude. Um, and then the Afterglow palette. This is the thing I've been most excited about. I've seen the packaging of these and they're just absolutely... Oh. So gorgeous look at that I mean is that not the kind of thing you literally have like displayed on your makeup desk <gasps> guys can you see that oh that is gorgeous it has the most stunning shades these are very much my shades as well I love kind of like they're like nudie but more on like the auburn kind of nude so we've got like some oranges some pinks um a few shimmers in there but that is just absolutely stunning stunning i love that and that mirror there you are oh you can see you're balanced on a panda jewelry box and a olivia burton candle no olivia blake sorry candle and then there you are <laughs> the things i do for a tripod eh um but that is gorgeous absolutely stunning thank you so much for sending those over nars i cannot wait to use this i think maybe we should do it in a video and i can show you like how i'm doing it um but i'm not wearing it as much eyeshadow at the moment mainly because I have quite sensitive eyes and if I wear too much eyeshadow too often my eyes can get like really really dry they can get a bit cracked and a little bit almost like eczema-y um so I'm trying to like refrain from wearing too much eyeshadow at the moment especially because obviously we're at home so you know <laughs> I can have a lot more makeup free days which is quite nice um but I'm very excited to try that I think we should do that in a video and we can do it together and I'll show you how I'm using each color and the kind of like eye makeup look that it comes out with but you can just tell the excitement in me. <laughs> I feel like that clip was looking a little bit dark so I thought I'd show you just the lip colour um, in like more natural light um, because obviously like where it was back there it looked a little bit dark. Please excuse this little mark here as well. I've been picking my lip again. I know guys I know it's absolutely dreadful. Um, I do it when I'm like stressed and so the fact that I had like a couple of down days and I'm feeling a bit like eh, um, I just like pick at it so that's gross please ignore that but i love this lip color it's a gorgeous like more pinky nude which i think is absolutely stunning um very much my vibe and it's just so comfy to wear because obviously it's like a lip balm um it's very comfortable on your lips and like it literally just feels like you've just like battered your lips which is ideal for me um the only thing is that it will mean that you probably have to like top it up a bit more but i'm fine with that especially because i need to like make sure i'm looking after my lips at the moment and keep them really moisturized i probably would be doing that anyway at the moment um but i really love how this looks i think it's an absolutely gorgeous lip color guys <laughs> the builders keep walking past this blooming window and i'm vlo as i'm vlogging obviously i'm talking to a camera and they just keep looking I'm like what is that girl doing and i'm like hi only me <laughs> honestly the things you have to do for this job love it <laughs> also just to show you my little OOTD today because I'm actually really loving it so my tan has gone a bit patchy on my arm so I wanted to wear something long sleeve to kind of hide that because especially around like the inside of my elbows whenever I go on runs uh, because obviously I'm running like that and I'm sweating a lot because it's so hot I find that I get like white patches should I show you actually I just get really bad white patches where my elbow is. Come on. There we go. Can you see that there? I get really bad white patch just like on the inside of my elbow. So I just wanted to wear something that would hide that basically because I need to scrub it off tonight. Um, but also as it is warm, I was like, I'm gonna wear shorts because I'm gonna bake. So this is both actually River Island. So this is a very River Island heavy outfit. And very exciting news, River Island are now shipping again, which is really exciting. They've reopened their warehouse um, and they said they've put in like loads of measures to ensure that all of their workers are really safe um, and all of that, which I just think is absolutely amazing um, on their behalf so yeah these are the khaki shorts i've spoken about these before you guys love these shorts i think they are so stunning really flattering actually especially on someone who like doesn't like the tops of her legs i like shorts to come down kind of like mid thigh um on me and then this top is like a little bit puff sleeved square neck um which i think is very flattering so yeah love my outfit today and then obviously i don't have any shoes on i've had loads of messages actually and some styling bits being like why aren't you signing up with shoes and i'm like because i'm literally 
not leaving my house. Like, the only time I need to leave my house is to go on a run, go and put the bins down, like, and that's not even leaving the building, so all I do is put sliders on, or go to the supermarket. So I ain't styling up any cute shoes at the moment, so that's why. <laughs> this is basically just what we spend 90% of our day doing. <laughs> Sitting at the kitchen table on our laptops. just finished up having lunch and I thought now would be the perfect time to talk to you guys about my sofa um so I get loads of questions like literally daily um about our white sofa if you don't know this is our sofa here it's from Ikea it's called the bronze leg I believe um I'll link it down below for you guys so you don't have to like search it if you um want to shop it there's lots of different like bronze leg versions um so we have our setup so we have the chaise long and then two seats like that um but obviously as it's like here you can kind of do what you want with it um so i'll link it down below but i always get loads of questions about it the fact that it's a white sofa how do we maintain it how do we look after it yada yada because often you guys will see we're having like pizza night on the sofa or you know like what do i do when i click tan yada 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 so i thought i would talk you guys through that today um and basically show you how i kind of look after the sofa um so annoyingly i actually cleaned it the other day so i kind of wish i hadn't so basically we do get little marks on the sofa um and let me go grab it actually so the sofa does mark um the main things that we get marks from are either drips of like tea or coffee so like really really tiny little brown kind of like patches or um like you know when you're eating a bar of chocolate and like a little bit flings off so you kind of just get like tiny little um stains on it um and the first time it happened i'm not gonna lie to you i cried <laughs> like the first time we stained the sofa i literally cried um but i have discovered actually that the vanish oxy action the one that i use for my clothes works for the sofa um so this sofa can actually be put in the washing machine we've not actually put ours in the washing machine yet mainly because ours is a washer dryer and i really hate what it does to whites um like because the fact that it's drying um so you get loads of like black fluff everywhere and i literally i clean our washing machine once a week just because of like how much fluff builds up um and it just means that like even once i've cleaned it when you put whites in they don't come back looking as white so i don't want to put it in the washing machine yet i think i'm going to take it to like a laundry service to get it washed um but you can actually like so this material is washable so i think that's why this works so well because this is designed for clothes not for furniture so that's what i use to um like get out stains and then the other thing that i do find is that the sofa does um get lots of like black fluff so it's going to be really difficult to show you but basically if i come in closer oh that's a little a little stain we'll have to get out later um but if I show you, it's going to be really difficult to see. Oh, okay, and the builders are back. That's fun. Um, you can see lots of, like, black fluff. So, we go and use a lint roller. Now, annoyingly, I don't have my... Well, actually, my big lint roller is now broken. I was doing it the other day. Um, so, you know, this, like, little bit here. For some reason, it's just, like, fallen off. I'm not entirely sure why. So, I only have this mini one. But if I show you what I do, actually, I literally go over the sofa with the lint roller and you'll notice it's picked up low i mean i don't really know how well you can see that but it's picked up all of the black fluff um and then it just means that the sofa looks a lot more white and a lot more crisp um and like it doesn't look tired i think that's the main thing is that when it's got all the black fluff on it it just looks really really tired so i literally use this over the whole sofa i mean i know that it's so tiny um normally i'll use like a bigger one and i'll just use that over the whole sofa and that's what keeps it like looking really white and crisp um but yeah i don't regret getting a white sofa at all i know loads of people message and ask and they're always like do you 
would you recommend it? Like I've got kids or I've got a dog. And I know actually a good friend of mine, Sinead Crow, has this sofa and she has a little puppy dog. Um, and she says that she just shoves it in the machine and washes it and it's absolutely fine. So I definitely would recommend it. Um, and I don't regret buying a white sofa at all. I love how it looks and I just think it really completes this room. Um, but yeah, so that's how I keep my sofa clean and how I look after it. Um, I'll do that maybe like once every two weeks. I don't, it doesn't need doing that often. Um, and it's just the kind of best way to kind of keep your sofa looking as crisp and as fresh as possible. Apologise. They keep drilling on and off. Um, and I feel like if it's just going to be inevitable in this clip. But. I have just been doing some online shopping. Oh my God, you can actually see them. <laughs> so this is what I mean when I say they are so close, like they're literally on our balcony. Um, anyway, I've been doing some online shopping. I have just been scrolling through Danelle's website because I really want to update our living room. So one of the main things that I really, really hate is the mismatching wood. So we bought this, I say TV unit, it's actually a coffee table from Ikea and we bought it in our old flat mainly because we just moved in. We couldn't really afford like a proper TV unit. Um, we didn't really have much money. Um, and also because, of, so <laughs> TVs are very important to Alex. He really cares about quality and size and blah, blah, blah. We got such a big TV, we couldn't find a TV cabinet that like would fit it very easily. Like especially at Ikea, none of the TV units would fit this TV. So we ended up having to get a coffee table. And we went for this one because we had a bit of dark coloured wood in our old flat and I did really love it. But one thing I do hate about it now is look how wide it is. Like the TV finishes there and then you've got all this space. So it makes our living room look a lot smaller than it is. And then I also hate how it doesn't match our ottoman. Um, I've spoken about this before, but this is an ottoman that was like bespoke made by my grandpa. So I do not want to get rid of it at all. Um, I really, you know, love how it looks. And I really like how it looks underneath the... Um, window seat there so basically I want to get a new TV unit and I also want to get a coffee table um, you guys will know coffee table gate Alex broke mine back in must be September now um, and he still hasn't replaced it I'm also gonna be getting a new rug um, down here I've already ordered it from Matalan home I absolutely love Matalan home rugs this one's actually a Matalan home one um, and I'm moving this one into my dressing room because it, I don't want to get rid of this one. I do love how it looks. I just don't think it quite fits with our vibe anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. The drilling is driving me nuts. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get a new rug because I just don't think that one quite fits with our vibe anymore. I want something a bit less like fluffy um, and just a little bit more, I don't want to say classy. It's the only word I can think of right now. A bit more artistic maybe is the word I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, that one's going into my office. And then I also want to get a new side table um, because I don't really like how that one looks anymore. Um, again, it looks lovely in our old flat. And also this next to that. So in our old flat, they were far enough away that it like, you couldn't really tell that the wood was different. It looked similar enough that you could get away with it. Whereas now the wood's like quite different. And also it does upset me that we've got one color wood here, one color wood here, one color wood here and one color wood there. So it's just like an awful lot of different colored woods that are just not vibing with each other. So yeah, so I'm getting a new coffee table a TV unit and a side table. I, I'm undecided if we are actually gonna get a side table. I'm thinking maybe we don't even need one if we get a nice coffee table. Um, this is what I've been dealing with all day, guys. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> At least it will mean that I get my balcony back sooner. But I'm the most impatient person when it comes to homeware. Like when I decide that I want something changed, I want it changed yesterday. Um, so I've just been kind of scrolling on Dunelm's website and a few others um, looking for the kind of vibe that I'm going for. And I think I've decided what I want, um, but yeah, exciting. I mean, it's not gonna happen anytime soon because let's be honest, delivery's not happening quickly at the moment. And the rug that I've ordered, I ordered it last week and already, well, I say already, I ordered it last week and the delivery expected date is the 1st of May. Um, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to kind of start changing up this this little section just because I'm not happy with how it looks and I want to love it. Um, I'm like loving my space is very important to me. Um, 
as someone who kind of like is in their flat a lot and is a, a homebody anyway regardless of like this lockdown and everything I am such a homebody um and I really want my space to kind of like inspire me and spark joy um so I'm very excited to change up this area I just can't stop looking at this rattan unit though I just love it so much I think it looks absolutely amazing I am going to style up this better um, that was kind of just plonked there for now. If, in case you're wondering what this is, this is a, I spoke about this actually in my Amazon must-haves video. This is a diffuser. Um, so you fill it with, uh, some, like you do a few drops of oil and then you fill it with water and it just, it smells amazing. Um, and I really like it just to kind of like fill the air in here. Um, but I love, I just love this unit. It makes me so happy. I just wanted to come on here to end today's vlog and say I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit of a, a weird one. Um, it's just been some cosy at home goodness really. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know what kind of things you'd like to see on my channel. I'm really enjoying filming YouTube videos at the moment, hence why I'm doing three uploads a week. I'm absolutely loving creating them for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying them. And if you are new around here, I would love it if you subscribed. I am just loving seeing our community grow and like just loving having chats with you guys and conversations and just, it's all, it's all good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.